welcome back to another video on elastic search my name is ronak vyas and this video is a collaboration with programming knowledge in the previous video we talked about how we can use elastic search with a python client using the official elastic search package in python we also talked about a high level client called as elastic search dsl which we'll be looking into today and also being having a brief introduction about what it actually means so what is elastic search dsl it is a high level library whose aim is to develop uh, writing and running queries against elastic search so pretty straightforward it is used to write and run queries against elastic search and it is built on top of the low level client so it provides a more convenient and a idiomatic way of writing and manipulating queries so it stays close to the elastic search json dsl you know it mirrors the terminology the structure of how you actually write an elastic search query and ex exposes the whole range of dsl from python either using classes or query set like expressions it also provides additional optional wrappers to working with documents as python objects so you can define mappings retrieve and save documents wrap the document data into user defined classes so you can write up your own class and mimic that class as an actual data source of your data on elastic search so today we'll just have a simple example of how to use elastic search dsl uh, just follow the documentation and in the upcoming videos we'll be using both elastic search and elastic search dsl together to see how we can write more complex queries and use python as a means to do so so before we start with the code this is uh, the official github source for elastic search dslp uh, py you can see how to install it we'll go into it right now to install elastic search py and just give me a minute elastic search dsl i'm sorry and it's already done now let's go ahead and actually focus on the documentation example which we have here we'll code this up and we have already indexed uh, a piece of data which was any data and the timestamp using the date time uh, python framework so we'll be using uh, the same index and the same data to retrieve it or to search for it and see if we can get the results back so let's get started as usual first we need to spin up our elastic search server so let's do that make sure you have the most recent version of elastic search if not you'll have to make sure that uh, the elastic search dsl python package or the pypy package which you install is also uh, the one which supports your elastic search version so until this is getting ready let's see the compatibility issues so yeah as you can see uh, make sure that you have the latest version if possible uh, if not uh, use any of the major versions and uh, this is how the requirements in your setup or txt should look like okay i think we're good to go let's check if our server is up and running and it looks like it is so let's go ahead and see how we can use the python client for elasticsearch dsl and uh, let's actually see if we can use both together or not so from elasticsearch import elasticsearch like we did in the previous video it's nice and from elasticsearch dsl we import search because we want to search the data which we have indexed in the previous video so es equal to elastic search will spin up an instance and okay this is working let's just make sure this is working again let's have a search using es the index we want is my index if you remember 
let's query this so as you can see it is a very high level client so we can use simple functions like search query etc etc and you'll see how easy it is to actually code up a search query using Elasticsearch in Python right now if you want to match uh, any because any was our uh, key and the value was data so let's see if we can find something which matches the same thing and let's store the response uh, into a variable so I start execute so we execute the search query and we store the response here awesome now let's see what the response looks like so although we know that there's only one uh, set of one piece of data on the server or on the index but let's just see how it would be if you would have multiple so and for hit and response I'm just following the documentation so I'll be using the same structure let's print uh, the score uh, of the search query how good was it let's make it a bit fancier then let's see uh, the any part so key for any or uh, let's just say source file source yeah so the source was hit dot any if we were able to find it and hit dot timestamp if I'm right so this should give us the score of how uh, relevant the document was and the source which was head.any and timestamp which you both need and yeah as you can see the score was 0 0.28 the source was data uh, because we had any data and this is the timestamp which we used using date time.now and this is how we use uh, Elasticsearch DSL with Elasticsearch to search for queries very easily so as you see uh, the main set of piece of code here which is used to search on the index we have a simple search for functionality using the Elasticsearch client uh, this is how we connect to the Elasticsearch low-level client and also the server the index we use is my index which we had done in the previous video and then we have a function called query where we use the match query and we do it on the key being any and what we're looking for is data we execute this query and store that in a response then for each uh, hit we get for the response we print out the score and the source since our uh, piece of data had only two columns uh, two keys which is any and timestamp we print both of them here and we can also see how the hit looks like so if you want to see the entire thing we can sprint the entire thing so it is an object uh, a hit object with the score and this is our source and this is the ID which is 42 so this is how we use Elasticsearch DSL with Elasticsearch to search for data inside an Elasticsearch index in the upcoming videos we'll look into how to use mapping how to use different kinds of complicated Elasticsearch queries with Python to search for documents efficiently on Elasticsearch. Thank you.